In this video, I'll show you how to combine your WooCommerce cart and checkout in just a single click. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our checkout page and we can see our order summary here. But it actually doubles up as our cart page. As you can see, we can actually increase or reduce the quantity of particular items in our cart or completely just remove the item from our directly on the checkout page. So if you want to create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. It's currently free and in beta mode. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our dashboard. And now the second step is to go ahead and upload a plugin in which you've just installed. So you'd go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload a plugin, activate it. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all-in-one checkout. So let's go ahead and click on it. And now the third step is to actually go ahead and create our first checkout form. So you click create new checkout here. Since I've already created one, I'm going to just go ahead and edit this one here. Okay, so once we're on this page, so we've got the option to actually edit the checkout fields. So by default, we've got our billing details, shipping details, um, shipping method, payment method. Um, and so on. So you can add extra fields as well if you want. If there's a field that you didn't like, you can just go ahead and hide it or you can hide an entire section as well. If you wanted to create a multi-step checkout, you can just add a new step here. I'm just gonna delete this one. But for this video, we'll just leave everything as default for now and then we'll navigate to design and then we'll go ahead and select our two column layout. You can choose single layout as well. In the future, we'll have multiple different pre-made templates for you to choose from. And now we'll navigate navigate to settings, go ahead and enable this checkout field, and then we'll just give it a name. This is just for internal purposes only. So once you enable it, it will automatically replace your default WooCommerce checkout. And now you've got the option where it says apply. So you can apply this to a certain um, user segment. So you can apply it to um, users with a particular user role, to guest users and so on. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit save changes here. Okay, and now we'll head back to our main dashboard by clicking the back button. Okay, and now we'll navigate to where it says settings here. And then all we have to do is where it says enable cart edit, we'll just enable this option here. I've already got it enabled and then you just click save changes. And now you'll have a checkout page similar to mine where customers can, let's say, for example, let's add a few more um, items to our checkout. Let's just go to our checkout. And then from here, we can directly edit the quantities within our cart. So we can, um, as I mentioned already, we can increase the quantity or we can just remove it completely. So if we set it to zero, that will remove it completely from the basket. One final bonus tip is if you're going to enable this option, then you might be interested in, in enabling a direct checkout. So what you do is you just click enable here and then you have two options. So you can replace the add to cart button with a buy now button, or you can keep the add to cart button and add a buy now button. Um, so let's just replace the add to cart button with a buy now button. And then here you can rename the buy now text. So by default, it will say buy now, but you can just name it to whatever you want. So let's go ahead and save changes. Okay, and now when we head back to our shop page, so this actually makes more sense um, from a user perspective. So now, um, instead of adding a product to cart, we can just click um, buy now, and this will take us directly to the checkout page, bypassing the whole shopping cart page. So hopefully this should help um, reduce your cart abandon rate because it's actually less step for the user to take to um, be able to check out. And then as I said, from here, they can just go ahead and edit the quantities within the basket. And that's how you merge your cart and checkout page without touching a single line of code. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.